Check out this 1968 Pontiac GTO. This is a true GTO. It's powered by a non-numbers matching 400 four barrel. The Pontiac rally wheels have all been restored with uh, new Cooper Cobra radial tires, new trim rings and centers. It's got all the rocker molding, wheel well molding. It's also got a very nice uh, driver quality paint job. It's kind of a silver metallic, not a show quality finish, but what I'd call a real nice driver quality. The enduro bumper is in really good shape. The front grille's also been repainted and restored. That looks excellent. The balance is nice. It's got its correct uh, air breather. It's got the aftermarket air conditioning. I did take the belt off just, just because uh, it was all hooked up when it came in, but it did squeal just a little bit on the belt. Just made a little bit of noise. Uh, radiator's in great shape. It's got power steering and it's got uh, four-wheel power brakes. Motor's all painted up nice. It does have, uh, I think it's a Carter four-barrel carburetor on it. Engine compartment looks real good. As far as the hood goes, the hood closes real nice. It does stick up a little back here in the back. I think the hood hinges are starting to get a little wore out, but they're all lubed up and it opens and closes nicely. But as far as our hood, um, the back hood hinges need to be replaced, I'm saying. It sticks up just on both sides. If we're looking down the sides, it's nice and straight. blisters anywhere in the rear quarters, lower fenders, or doors. Very nice and solid. Floor pans are nice also on it. As we open the doors, this car has all brand new rubber and felts everywhere. Corner of the door is perfect, no rust, no body filler anywhere there. Door panels are all new, armrests, bases, handles all look nice. Did a great job recovering all the seats. It's got the his or her shifter, console. Dash pad is excellent. It does have one crack way over here I didn't see earlier. Way over on the passenger side. It's original dash pad. Headliner's nice, no wrinkles. It's got its original GM seat belts. Carpet's been replaced. Really nice looking interior. Around the back window area here is all good and solid. Uh, back bumper is brand new. Trunk lid gap on the passenger side's nice. Driver side's nice as well, except for at the very base here. It's a little tight. No blisters here on the lower rear quarter. That's nice and clean. The reason I say it's kind of driver quality paint, the body's really straight. Um, no rust, nothing like that. It's just as far as in the metallics, um, it's probably not laid out the best that it could be. Probably could use a good buffing. Lower rear quarters, perfect. Door, lower fender, no blisters anywhere. No chips, nothing like that that I can see anywhere. 
Um, driver's side door is perfect. All the rubbers are all new. Door panels are new. The window felts and fuzzies here are new. Roof rail rubbers are new. Rubbers here along there. Excellent shape. It does have the remote mirror and that's all functional. It's got its original uh, one year only energy absorbing steering wheel. Horn works. Uh, factory clock does not work. Heater fan works well. Heater fan works, but on the high side it's a little noisy. Air conditioning, same way. That works as well. Needs a belt hook back up, but the air conditioner pump, the bearing's making a little bit of noise. It's got a new glove box in it. Wood grain on the dash is all excellent. Visors are new. Headliner's excellent. Dome light works. Seat covers are all new and they did a beautiful job covering them. No wrinkles, just nice and clean. It's got the correct GTO floor mats. Just a really nice driver condition GTO. The main thing I think the car needs to be, to kind of finish it off is just a nice set of hood springs. Put hinges. Transmission shifts nice. Here's our brakes, it's got a good pedal, pulls just a little bit to the left. Um, front wheel cylinders, prop brakes just need to be set up a little bit, the right brake. It's got a great pedal though. This GTO's had a carburetor kit, new plugs, it's been completely tuned up. Um, the neat thing about this his or her shifter, it's got the dual gate shifter on this side, it's got the slap shifter. Try that, see how that works. Drives nice down the road, speedometer works. As far as all our gauges, they're all light. Uh, brakes are stopping a lot better now. I think they just must have had a little surface rust on them. They're stopping nice and straight. Kick down on the tranny works. Really neat driving GTO. There's the brakes again, no pull, so they just needed to be adjusted a little bit, adjust themselves.